What's up, guys? Travel Itinerary, Puerto Rico here. The only travel blog that gives you a downloadable PDF itinerary. If you want to take this exact same trip the same way we did, I'll put the description of the website in the link below. So if you want to do that, you're going to need to pause this video. Things in the top right-hand corner are what you need to pre-book. That being said, the island of Puerto Rico is really huge. There's a lot of different kind of vacations you can take. We focused on the east side of this line, and more notably, the island of Culebra. Over on the mainland, we ended up staying at a small town called Luquillo. Luquillo is near El Yunque Rainforest, which you'll see in the video, us doing some hiking and some zip lining. A couple of other beaches in the northeast here near Fallardo are worth noting. What we did not do is stay over here in the capital of San Juan near Condado Beach, the crowded resorts. Rent a car, immerse yourself in the culture, you'll be better for it. So that being said, day one, here we go. Wake up, drive from San Juan Airport over to the Cieba Airport, and you'll hop on a small puddle jumper airplane over to the island of Culebra. Now guys, you can take a ferry, but it's really unreliable. Locals were actually protesting it while we were there. So fly out, uh, these two companies here, they're both equal. We actually flew one there and one back. And the views from the plane were absolutely incredible. Now when you get to Culebra, you'll want to rent a golf cart or a Jeep from one of the three companies above. We used number three because the first two were booked up already. Now a pro to running a Jeep is that you can lock it. They're all kind of centrally located here where that circle is near the airport. Now we stayed at an Airbnb where the X is on the south side of the island near uh, Ensenada Honda Bay. And while we're waiting for the Airbnb to be cleaned, we headed over to our first beach of the trip, Playa Melones. We got the call that our Airbnb was ready, so we headed up the hill to drop off our luggage. We caught our first glimpse of just the sheer beauty of this island that we'd be seeing for the next two days. After we dropped off our suitcases, we headed back over to Playa Malones to familiarize ourselves with the surroundings, do a little bit of snorkeling, and watch the sunsets. As you'll notice, there's plenty of marine life to see here. There's actually a really nice reef about 100 feet off to the right. Uh, we didn't go out that far, we just wanted to watch the sunset and relax because the next morning we had a big day planned. Day two, we woke up and headed north to one of the most famous beaches on the island, Flamenco Beach. Now, if you've researched this at all, you'll notice that this is consistently voted one of the top beaches in the world by Forbes and others. A beach off to the left, Carlos Rosario Beach, is known for some snorkeling, but we actually couldn't get there due to the trail being closed from Hurricane Maria. So the guard told me about another beach here, Playa Tamarindo, where you can actually snorkel with turtles, and that one is open right now. So we spent our day kind of bouncing back and forth between that beach and Flamenco Beach. As you come up over your first set of dunes at Flamenco Beach, you'll notice why this is voted one of the top beaches in the world. After this beach, we made our way over to Playa Tamarindo to snorkel with some turtles. As you can see, the bottom is grass and rocks, 
Didn't take us too long to find our first turtle. We picked up some groceries at the local store, headed back over to Flamenco Beach for the afternoon to watch the colors of the water change as the sun made its way through the sky in different positions of the day. As we were walking down the beach, we noticed one of the main tourist attractions here on the island, and that is an old tank that was actually used by the US military in the 80s when this island used to be a missile testing site. As you can see here, people climb on it, take pictures, all sorts of things like that. It's a great photo op. The next morning before we flew out, we headed back over to Tamarindo Beach early to try to get a couple more turtles on film. We actually ended up seeing a different kind of marine life. So most of this beach guys from the parking lot as you get in is grass and sand but as you make your way to the west the landscape completely changes to rocks, a little bit of a reef, there's quite a few sea urchins here. There's a lot of marine life to be found here so this is a good snorkeling spot as well. Probably better for intermediate snorkelers. Um, beginners can go too just make sure that if you have kids they go with you and stay close. Uh, the current isn't too strong and there's a lot to see here. I took this opportunity because there was a rainbow in the sky and then you can see as we stayed longer just the way that the color of the water changed. After that we headed back over to the mainland and drove from the Cieba airport over to the entrance of El Yunque to do a little bit of zip lining. The next morning we headed out early to go to El Yunque, deeper into the jungle to do a little bit of hiking. This is our drive from the Airbnb in Luquillo over to El Yunque.
that's all for this video guys. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up down below, subscribe, leave a comment, tell us where else you would like us to go and make a travel itinerary video for you. We'll leave a link to our Instagram down below and also the website where you can download the PDF to take this trip exactly like we did. Signing off from Puerto Rico, it's Travel Itinerary.